Alright, um, very good morning to you. It's good to see you this Tuesday morning. I hope you've had a better start to the day. So welcome to the show. My name is Winnie Lubembe and of course this is your world. And today it's all about pre-owned or second-hand cars. Alright, and I know uh, of course the journey towards owning a car, this is a lot of people's dreams, right? And of course, for those of you who have never owned a car before, of course, the thought, yes, is there. And of course, the excitement about owning a car and all the possibilities and flexibilities and convenience that it comes with the same. But the biggest issue for many people is finances, all right? How do you actually get finances to buy your dream car or your first car? Well, not to worry because we're going to have that conversation today. And of course, it's very easy and now for you because guess what? Cooperative Bank is actually giving you a hundred percent financing on pre owned or second hand cars. All right, and the biggest question is what exactly do you need to know about the same or this plan, and how do you apply for the same? Again, you want to stick around until the end of the conversation to understand more on the same. But if you have any question, feel free to also engage with us on our socials that is at NTV Kenya at Lubembe underscore Winnie. Of course, the hashtag to use is your world. But if you want to call in live and post pose your question directly to my guest, again, feel free to do so. It's going to be an educative uh, show today. So you do not want to miss any part of the conversation. And of course, that is also the question of the day. And that is, what is it that you want to know about um, secondhand car purchasing? All right. What is it that you want to know or you'd like to know about secondhand car purchasing so engage with us on all our socials ask any question away if you maybe tried you know this process and never had uh, you know a chance to own the same then again feel free to just pass your concerns to us and we'll be answering all your questions so to help us understand uh, this and much more we're joined by mr joseph Ziongo, who's the head asset finance from the cooperative bank of kenya how are you doing this morning yes uh, good morning and uh, good morning to our viewers um, my name is uh, Joseph Diongo. Mm -hmm. um, I'm in charge of asset finance mm -hmm. at uh, Cooperative Bank. Mm -hmm. And um, basically, when you talk about asset finance, mm -hmm. it's basically helping the customers acquire assets. Right. And typically, these assets are tangible assets. Mm -hmm. they, they must have certain characteristics. Mm -hmm. So they are tangible. It's something that you can see, mm -hmm. uh, you can feel, mm -hmm. you can see. All right. um, so that's one of the characteristics. Yeah. The other characteristic is uh, they are they are they are movable. Okay. You can move from you know they can move on their own. All right. What we call motorized. Okay. Uh, or you can move them. Okay. Uh, so the, it's movable. They can move from one place to, to, to another. Uh -huh. uh, they identifiable. Mm -hmm. It's it's something that you can uniquely identify. Yeah. Um, for example, uh, if you own a car, mm -hmm. um, you have a logbook. Mm -hmm. And that logbook, you know, has a, your name. Yeah. So, so no one else in Kenya has 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 that, has, has that yeah. logbook. Okay. So it's uniquely uh, identifiable. Mm -hmm. And uh, for example, if it's not a vehicle, then you have like uh, equipment. Mm -hmm. uh, there you would have a, a serial number. Yeah. Um, so, so that's the other characteristics. Mm -hmm. And the, and the last one is they are self-securing. All right. Meaning that um, you don't need an additional security. Mm -hmm. The, the 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 asset itself mm. is a collateral okay so so those are the characteristics of of, uh, an, asset. of an asset finance okay. All right. and basically what are we talking about mm -hmm. uh, maybe in terms of examples mm -hmm. um, we have vehicles um, personal vehicles mm -hmm. uh, you know there are many from saloon mm -hmm. you have SUVs mm -hmm. all the personal vehicles that you see yeah uh, we finance those ones we have commercial vehicles 
Um, these are, you know, the prime movers. You see the big trucks. Mm. Um, you know, they are tippers. You see the ones that are used for construction. Yeah. Um, you have uh, uh, even pickups, uh, pickups, the small pickups. Uh, if you are an SME, you want to just a small vehicle to carry yeah, yeah. Uh, to carry goods from one place to another. Yes, yes, those are commercial vehicles. Right. Then we have PSV. You know, matatus. Uh, you know, um, the matatus. You see, we finance quite a number. All the circles you see, we have finance. Mm -hmm. um, we have school buses. Mm -hmm. uh, so if you own a school and you're looking at um, financing, mm -hmm. uh, we also finance the school buses. Then we also have tractors. If you're a farmer, you, mm -hmm. need, um, you need a tractor. Uh, again, all those categories of vehicles will fall under asset finance. All right. So the other category is equipment, mm -hmm. uh, equipment financing. Mm -hmm. And uh, here we have several. Um, like uh, you can see on your studio, you have, you know, all these, uh, all, the cameras. all the cameras. It's a lot. Yeah, they, they <laughs> will be, uh, they will be finance and asset finance. All right. They have a serial number, I'm sure, each, each yes. one of them. Mm -hmm. um, so you have also um, uh, medical equipment. Mm -hmm. And here we are talking about diagnostic, you know, imaging equipment like X-ray. I'm sure you've gone to the hospital. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. You've seen the CT scan, PET scans, yeah. uh, X-ray. Mm -hmm. So all those will be financed and, uh, and, uh, and, and asset finance. All right. So the other category of equipment is uh, office equipment. Mm -hmm. If you're looking at buying a photocopier, mm -hmm. you're looking at buying um, a, a computer, mm -hmm. you know, servers, mm -hmm. uh, they will be at, uh, at asset finance. All right. Construction equipment, mm -hmm. you know, the graders, you know, the contractors, mm -hmm. the equipment they use to, mm -hmm. uh, to construct the road. They will also be a, a, and the an asset, asset finance. finance. Okay. And the last one is uh, we also do plant and machinery. Right. So let's say you are MSME. Mm -hmm. You just need a small plant to um, process, um, you know, like yogurt mm -hmm. or milk processor or milling, mm -hmm. your milling. Um, you know, all the way to the big uh, plant and machinery like breweries and uh, uh, bid cores. Mm -hmm. um, all those plant and machineries will be under asset finance. Right. So it's a wide... It's a popular product, yeah, and that, uh, that it you targets, uh, you know, from individual all the way to the, mm -hmm. uh, you know, SME and uh, even big and companies. And corporates as well. Uh, okay, yes, all right. Yes. Um, and of course, today, it's, well, our focus will be purely on uh, pre-owned or second-hand cars. Yes. And, and I know that's a very big market in the country um, because, again, cooperative, I think, for a very long time, you've majorly dealt with new cars, yes, right? You've yes, had, like, yes. partnerships with other other companies that are you know either importing like yes, direct importing yes, or yes, you know yes. are purchasing of the new car so do you want to tell us a little bit about that and why um now uh, you know sort of like expanding and um getting into this market and that is on pre-owned cars okay mm. yes as you mentioned we've done very well on the um, on the on the new vehicles right. and and if you look at um you know most banks actually focus on financing the the new ones mm -hmm. i think it's because of the perceived risk because when you talk about the pre-owned vehicles, mm -hmm. these are vehicles that are, it means that it was owned by somebody else. All right. So you, if you purchase, then you are the second owner. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. if you look at the vehicles which are imported into the country, um, majority they are eight years, mm -hmm. eight years old. Yeah. So, so most banks, they look at, since these are depreciating assets, mm -hmm. so if you ship them here when they are eight years old, and you are still going to finance maybe four years, mm -hmm. so by the time you, you you finance, you, you know, you, you complete the financing, mm -hmm. they'll be aged like uh, maybe 13, 14 years. That's true. So, so there is that perceived risk that mm -hmm. this category of assets are risky. Mm -hmm. And uh, since you are not taking any other collateral, mm -hmm. um, uh, you know, it, 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 it becomes very risky for the banks. For the bank, yeah. So, so mm -hmm. that's why there is a lot of focus on the, on the, the new, new ones. Yeah. Yes. Then also the new ones, mm -hmm. um, most of them are commercial mm -hmm. uh, because as, as, as you know, we have your local assemblies, mm -hmm. and uh, it makes sense if you're a business to buy, mm -hmm. uh, to buy the new ones. Yeah. Uh, because uh, when you buy a new one, uh, you know, you raise a deposit of 5%, mm -hmm. and the bank is able to finance you uh, 95%, again, over an extended uh, period, period of time. time. Yeah. But the oh. major difference between the two mm -hmm. is that if you buy a new one, mm -hmm. um, commercial one, mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's sort of like an investment. Mm -hmm. Because if you buy a matatu, for example, mm -hmm. uh, you pay 20%, mm -hmm. and the difference is financed by the bank, mm -hmm. it means that um, the 80%, mm -hmm. you will not pay from your pocket. Mm -hmm. is the, the, asset the asset itself will generate to, yeah. enough income to pay. Mm -hmm. 
So if you buy a truck, for example, it's the same concept. Yeah. But now when you buy a pre-owned mm -hmm. or a personal car, mm -hmm. it means that you have to finance mm -hmm. from your pocket, mm -hmm. uh, which means if you are a salary, uh, there is a deduction that, that will has go to be made, uh, yeah. that will go towards that. So, mm -hmm. so the major difference is one is income generating, is and a self-paying. The other one is not income generating, and right. you have to pay from your pocket. Okay. So I think that that is um, that's why we are looking at how do we help these customers, not only that's the true. MSME, yeah. but how but do we help um, even the individual customers mm -hmm. and uh, even the salaried customer? Okay. And that's why we mm -hmm. uh, we are now shifting to into, into into the market. Uh, uh, and it, it's interesting, and I like the fact that you started by helping people understand assets yeah, yeah. Um, because for a very long time there's usually this conversation about assets versus liability and one of the things is that cars would actually be categorized as liabilities yes, right yes but now it's like sort of like shifted it's now this is an asset right how how is that like could you just help us understand the first of all the whole aspect of owning a car and especially in the country right now what are some of the trends that you have noticed as a bank um, I think I think I think maybe the better question would be uh, mm -hmm. why do people buy uh, cars? Why cars? Yeah. Uh, because um, if you look at uh, you know uh, you know um, mm -hmm. uh, somebody growing up you know their journey, mm -hmm. uh, you know you go to school and uh, you know you work hard and mm -hmm. you know there are all these things that are painted mm -hmm. ahead of you like you know work hard mm -hmm. and uh, you know so that someday yeah. uh, you will buy you, you know will get a good a job yes. and uh, you know buy a car buy a, buy car. a house yes uh, so i think those are those are some of the personal that goals yeah. that are there so mm -hmm. what happens it's um, so you, you walk through that journey and uh, let's say for example you get a job mm -hmm. and it becomes your immediate goal in terms of the car ownership. All right. so, so, so I think what we are seeing now in terms of the trend, mm -hmm. we have so many younger people you know, uh, you know, who are purchasing these vehicles. Mm -hmm. you know, if you look at the older generation, the first focus mm -hmm. was you know, once you get the money there was, you know, don't buy a car, you buy, buy a plot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you've also had people say, ah, yes. maybe I need to, first of all, buy a piece of land, Niweke Hapo, and yes. then build a house, and then maybe buy a car later on. But of course, that has, has, that that has, has changed shifted. over time, yes. Yeah, that Because of the shifted. convenience and, and, you know, all the advantages that you're getting. And of course, again, like we said, status, you know, of just yeah, owning a car. Yeah, There's yeah. a way that that elevates you in one way or the other. We'll come back to the different trends that you've noticed as a bank. Yeah. But we have a caller on the line, Evans. Good morning. Hello, good morning. How are you? Evans, can you hear me? Are you there? Good morning. Yes, uh, good morning. How are you? Very well. Thank you so much for calling us this morning. Do you have a question? Yeah, yeah please. Uh, okay, I just sit in the house and I saw the second hand car financing program going on. All right. So I need to how about that because uh, I was just in the process of uh, organizing to be financed for a uh, second hand care. Mm -hmm. Yes, please. So wait, so you're saying you're in the process of uh, purchasing one? Yes, yes, I was just in that process. All right. Uh, I didn't plan yet, yes. Okay, so your question is... Um, Are you guys financing? All right, okay. So thank you so much, Evans. <laughs> Joseph, a question for you. Are you financing? Yeah, yes, yes, <laughs> yes, definitely. Um, definitely, Evans, we are financing. Okay. And um, I think we'll talk about the, the process and mm. the requirements. Mm -hmm. So if Evans could hold on to, to the line, yes. is that we could explain the details. Mm -hmm. But yes, we are financing. Mm -hmm. And if you can walk to any of our core branches, mm -hmm. Um, you'll be assisted. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. All right. So, Evan, still uh, stay until the end of the conversation to understand um, how Cooperative Bank is actually financing second-hand car purchasing and, of course, all the details that you need to know because, again, there are a few requirements here and there. Mm. Um, you know, that one has to just to make sure that, again, you get yourself a car. But, of course, the best thing is that it is 100% um, you know, second-hand car financing plan, which is, which is just a good thing. But, of course, we were talking about the changing trends and now the shift from oh owning a car is a luxury but now it's sort of like a necessity because of all the convenience that it comes it comes with so you're saying you're talking about younger people yeah um, who again have shifted uh, in terms of you know what this are some of the priorities that they have and of course owning a car is is one of them yeah yes mm -hmm. so, so we are seeing that uh, priority mm -hmm. uh, that shift mm -hmm. in terms of the younger people yeah. um, owning cars 
you know, as young as immediately after getting a job, mm -hmm. uh, it becomes an uh, immediate purchase. Yeah. Um, I think the other trend we are seeing is also the convenience that comes with it. Yep. Because if you look at, uh, you know, we are hiring mobile, mm -hmm. you know, some of the jobs, you know, maybe like you work here, mm -hmm. uh, you are required to report, you know, mm -hmm. um, you know different shift. Yeah. And that means then you have to uh, have means of navigating between your house mm -hmm. and your place of work. Yeah. So, so, so that way then the car becomes a uh, necessity. Mm -hmm. It's very convenient. Mm -hmm. Others is security. Right. Uh, because again, uh, security and a bit of control. Mm -hmm. uh, so you want to have your own space and uh, maybe also maybe where you live. Mm -hmm. Maybe there are places where there are no, uh, no, no public means. Mm -hmm. And it means that you have to go a bit interior. Yeah. Then you need a car and that way it's a bit, uh, it's a, it's a bit uh, safer. Mm -hmm. So if you are maybe a professional, mm -hmm. and uh, it, it, it's, it's not just the convenience, but I think it's a tool of trade. It really is. You can imagine yeah. yourself you know, going to negotiate mm -hmm. um, a contract, mm -hmm. and uh, maybe it's a bigger contract, mm -hmm. which is valued, let's say, like 100 million, mm -hmm. and uh, you show up with a bids, mm -hmm. and you know, the guys who are giving you the contracts mm -hmm. will maybe question you. They judge you. Bit. Yeah, they okay, judge you. all right. <laughs> Not to say yeah, that yeah. everybody who owns a Beats <laughs> is, uh, yeah. no, but we're just saying, and, and I get that, I get that. Yeah. Um, you know, that question of um, uh, perception and even first impressions, really, because you cannot go, maybe you, you, again, like you're saying, you're going to negotiate a contract and here you are. Uh, there's, there's a way that people, you know, sort of like judge you and that one way or the other influences, yes. um, you know, the, the kind of results. That um, that you will that you will get. We need to go on a break in the next two minutes, but let's yeah. just answer this one caller, and then um, we'll go on a break, and then we'll come back and tell you all the details that you need to know as far as pre-owned or second-hand car financing. But Geoffrey, good morning. Good morning to you. Geoffrey, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Ah, good. Um, How are you doing yeah. this morning? I'm fine, thank you. All right. So, what question do you have? Uh huh. Uh, I wanted to make an inquiry. Mm -hmm. I'm uh, putting up a, a, a small business in uh, agriculture, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, I wanted to purchase uh, uh, the mini tractor All right. for plowing, eh? All right. so, like a tuk-tuk uh, structure. Mm -hmm. I don't know, um, uh, what, what are your requirements to, okay. for the asset financing? Because okay. I remember there's a time I went to a bank, mm -hmm. and they were asking me for a pay slip. All right. Yes. Okay, um, and and like you said, you're not you're not em so are you employed? Are you not? This is your. Yes, I'm currently employed. Currently employed. Yeah, but uh, it's not a salary sal scale that could uh, could uh, purchase uh, heavy equipment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, I'm uh, actually going into business mm -hmm. so that I can uh, use uh, the, the the resources that I have mm -hmm. to raise money. Okay. Yes. All right, sour, sour. Thank you very much, Geoffrey. And uh, again, just stick around with us for a moment. We are supposed to take a break, but of course, when we come back, we'll be answering all your questions in terms of so, what exactly do you need? What are the requirements? You know, and all those things uh, as far as secondhand car financing. But if you have more questions, again, feel free to uh, send them our way. And that is calling us live. The numbers are down on your screen. You want to engage with us on our social media platforms again. Be, um, you know, feel free to do so. I'll be going through your feedback after the break. Stay with us. This is your world. More on second hand car financing after the break. See you shortly. Nevada Garden City, a residential development within Garden City offering stunning one, two, and three bedroom apartments, unique amenities, and an urban green convenient living. Call us today on 0722 123 000. Mi my home, my life. New Sensodyne Repair and Protect with Deep Repair. It's a huge game changer for me. The science is pretty amazing because it really goes deep inside the tooth and repairs tooth sensitivity. I am a happy patient. 
I will be able to go back to the things that I enjoy eating the most. The sense is there. It's going to improve the quality of my life in a big way. <laughs> the new Sensodyne Repair and Protect with Deep Repair. So I uh, let myself in. Plus, I really needed some coffee. Get peace of mind and protect the ones you love with the power of Dettol Bar Soap. It cleans and protects from up to 100 illness-causing germs. So no matter what type of mum you are, trust Dettol. If you are a holder of any unclaimed financial assets, surrender all unclaimed financial assets in your possession to the Unclaimed Financial Assets Authority, UFAA, today without having to pay interest or penalties. Take advantage of the Finance Act 2022 moratorium on penalties and interests. For more information, visit www.ufaa.go.ke forward slash holders. Unclaimed Financial Assets Authority. Receive safe guidance. God reunite. Dust off your Shubaru and upgrade your Lexus. Because Corp Bank is now offering 100% financing on used cars. With Corp Bank pre-owned car financing, anyone with an income can walk into a second-hand dealership. Select the car that best suits them and get financing from Cooperative Bank. To find out more, walk into a Cooperative Bank near you for details. Terms and conditions apply. Retirement Benefits Authority will be in Akuru at the Huduma Center from Monday 3rd to 7th October. Our officers will be on the ground to answer questions you have on saving for retirement, registering and licensing of schemes, member education, and retirement planning and financial literacy. back uh the shape your world okay and today it's, it's it's a very interesting topic that we all should at least have an idea um you know often that is on the second hand or pre-used um car financing and of course all that is brought to you by cooperative bank um and of course the question that so many people are asking is uh, are you financing yes cooperative bank is financing and of course we have mr joseph Diomo here who's the head asset finance from cooperative bank on answering all our questions so of course the first question that we had was are you financing a hundred percent yes you are financing cooperative bank okay it's financing of course the other question that we had before we went on a break was from joffrey who uh, says has a small business was thinking of going into agriculture and wants to purchase a mini tractor uh, and says so what are some of the requirements like what is it that i need to know he has his he said he's currently employed, but if I got him correctly, he said, but that is not what I'm planning to use to pay 
you know, for this mini tractor. So first of all, is he qualified to get um, to get to get financed? Okay, thank you. Um, so I think uh, for the case of Jeffrey, mm -hmm. he's looking at purchasing a tractor, mm -hmm. uh, and we do have mm -hmm. a tractor financing scheme. All right. All right. As you know, the bank is very strong with uh, agriculture. Mm -hmm. We support. Um, Agri agriculture, we have a dedicated department that uh, supports uh, that particular sector. Mm -hmm. Yes, and I think for Jeffrey, he mentioned that he has a bit of salary mm -hmm. and uh, he also has a bit of income. Right. So it will be, it will be beneficial uh, to actually, uh, uh, you know, uh, review the, the two incomes mm -hmm. uh, to see whether he is able uh, to qualify. Mm -hmm. and the best, but basically when it comes to tractor financing, mm -hmm. We finance about uh, 80%, mm -hmm. 80% financing, mm -hmm. and you can pay, uh, you know, all the way to uh, a period of 48 months. All right. uh, the advantage of tractor, again, mm -hmm. uh, is a commercial vehicle. Mm -hmm. So we'll still also consider how much um, income, mm -hmm. uh, projected income, that this particular tractor I is able to generate. All right. So we'll look at his income, uh, his salary, uh, his other side business that uh, he had mentioned mm -hmm. and also maybe he can also tell us mm -hmm. how much that because this, this is a commercial vehicle how much does he project mm -hmm. that this particular tractor will generate all right and then from there we are able to to, mm -hmm. to make a decision okay yeah and uh, jeffrey i don't know where he's calling from but mm -hmm. he can also walk to any of our any branches of the cooperative yes bank. okay yeah. all right um and then i think the other question no i think we answered the other question um early on about um so what are some of the no we didn't answer that we told him to st to stick around and, and and get to know so the requirements right so you're providing 100 percent car financing for pre-owned second hand okay 100% financing for the same. So what are the requirements? What is it that exactly Cooperative Bank is offering that is different from these other banks, circles, for example, or some car dealerships? Okay. Mm -hmm. So I think our, our pre-owned um, financing is a very strong value proposition mm -hmm. uh, because we're also breaking the ground. Yeah. Uh, traditionally, uh, a lot of banks, they finance these vehicles mm -hmm. at 70%. Uh, mm -hmm. And as I mentioned, was a perceived risk. Yeah. But uh, if you look at um, the, the market, mm -hmm. uh, like for example in Kenya, we register 100,000 vehicles mm -hmm. uh, every year. Every year, all yeah. right. Mm -hmm. uh, out of that, 88% uh, or 88,000, mm -hmm. they are pre-owned. Mm -hmm. And only 14%, only 14, percent, uh, 14 per, sorry, 86% um, mm -hmm. out of 100,000 100, yeah. is uh, pre-owned. Pre yes. okay. 14% mm -hmm. uh, is uh, the new ones. The new ones yeah. So if you're looking at a bigger subset mm -hmm. of, of customers who are not able to, and when we also interviewed our customer, mm -hmm. what we realized, a lot of them, they can be able to afford a given installment. Mm -hmm. They have regular income, All right. but they don't have the upfront cost mm -hmm. that are associated of, uh, with uh, you know, purchasing the car. Mm -hmm. For example, if you're buying a car, um, you know, if the deposit is too high, mm -hmm. say 30 or 40 percent, it means now it's part of the cost. Mm -hmm. It's a part of the cost. It means that even if you had ability to pay 30 or 40,000 per month, mm -hmm. you can't you be able can't. to acquire because yeah. you need the. You had to, raise, you had to raise the, the, the 30 percent. Yeah. So I think that's one, that is one of the other challenges. Mm -hmm. Then the other costs besides the down payment. Mm -hmm. Uh, insurance, mm -hmm. comprehensive insurance, the valuation, the valuations, well, the, car uh, tracking. the car tracking. Mm -hmm. So there are all these upfront costs mm -hmm. that actually, uh, you know, that that make it impossible mm -hmm. for customers to buy pre-owned, even right. if they have ability to pay the Monday installment. Right. So for our value proposition, that's where you're financing 100 percent. We are even financing all those upfront costs, mm -hmm. the tracking and the so insurance. This, so the, yeah, so the 100 yes. percent is, is it, it caters for everything, literally yes. everything. You yes. just go. So what I need to do is just go. Just go to the washroom, at a, to, yeah. to, to the to, showroom. To a dealer shop. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, identify a car, yeah. and then come tell you, hi, cooperative bank, this is the kind of car that I want. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then you finance everything. Yes. Isn't that interesting? Yes. Okay, so I don't need to raise any amount, no 10%, no 20%, no 30%, um, you know, that is required with other financing institutions. All I need to do is just identify and then come tell you and then what is it then that you 
do to make sure that you know what are some of these checks that you you have to go through to ascertain whether I qualify for the same or not. Okay. Um, so so maybe maybe even before mm -hmm. we talk about the checks, mm -hmm. so so one of it was 100% financing. Financing, yes. Yes. Yeah, so that that's that's a differentiator. Mm -hmm. um, also, there is no collateral. Okay. So the vehicle that we are financing, mm -hmm. it's a collateral, and uh, and therefore you don't have to you know worry about providing mm -hmm. an additional collateral. Okay. Talked about financing the upfront cost, mm -hmm. all the insurance and the tracking. Mm -hmm. So there is no cost. Mm -hmm. Nothing would stop you if you wanted to buy a car today. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you are able to you are able to, to walk into a dealership and get a car. Mm -hmm. But there is another feature okay. that we have also addressed, mm -hmm. which is the extended tenor mm -hmm. of 60 months. All right. So because we are looking at affordability, mm -hmm. so we have enabled you 100%. So if you pay within a shorter period, mm -hmm. it means that your installment again are going to be very high. All right. And therefore we have also extended the tenor. Okay. So that whatever you are paying per month mm -hmm. is very manageable. All right. uh, and that's the other key, key, key feature mm -hmm. on, uh, on, on, on this uh, pre-owned financing. All right. So in terms of the requirements, mm -hmm. um, they're very straightforward. Mm -hmm. So for example, if you're salaried, mm -hmm. we require you at three months Okay. Uh, pay slip. All right. And 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 also want to mention that this facility is uh, is uh, eligible. Mm -hmm. You don't have to be banking with us. All right. So it's for oh. both corp and non corp and customers. Non customers. Yes. So That's interesting. so if you're banking with us, obviously your salary is coming mm -hmm. uh, through us. All right. But if you're not banking with us, we we'll also need to see your bank statements over the last six months. Okay. Um, so six months bank statements. If not banking with us, mm -hmm. three months uh, uh, pay slip. And also, we want to see also your employment appointment letter mm. or contract, okay. just to ensure that uh, you know to confirm you're employed, mm -hmm. and there is a steady income to pay. Okay. Um, and then uh, also, we will also request. For, for example, we will also have gone to shop for that particular car. Mm -hmm. So at the dealership, uh, the dealer will give you a performer invoice All right. uh, that you know tabulate how much you are uh, financing. Mm -hmm. Uh, also, as another way of quality check, yeah, because we want to ensure that you are getting a quality car, mm -hmm. we require you do a variation mm -hmm. from approved valuers in our bank panel. All right. Yeah, and uh, we, it means that with these ones, you know, vetted and the report they give it ensures that the car is in good quality. All right. So we require that uh, variation uh, variation mm -hmm. report. All right. Of course, your identification documents. Mm -hmm. That's your ID and. Uh, and uh, you are KRA pin, mm -hmm. yes. Okay, those are the requirements that, that are needed. Um, and I think I had a question on uh, now self-employed, because um, again, what you're talking about is the salaried, yes. right? And yes. then is there a minimum, very quickly to the same, like a minimum salary, maybe, for you to qualify for the same? Um, basically what we check is, uh, is your ability to pay. Okay. And here we're looking at, as long as your expenses do not exceed mm -hmm. uh, two thirds, okay. even by law, all right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> of your gross. Yes, okay. you'll be able to, uh, to qualify. Okay. So you are total deduction, including the, um, the, 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 the car installments. Okay. Should not exceed the, the two third. That's true. Of, 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 your, of your total. Of, of, your, of yeah. your total to, to gross salary. Okay. Yeah. So if you earn like 40,000, 50,000. Uh, so two third, of, all the deductions uh -huh. then should not exceed two third of. Okay. 50, all right. Yes. To see if 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 um if, if, you, if you qualify. Okay. All right. Yeah. So we have Gordon uh, on the line. Gordon from uh, Busia. How are you doing this morning? On the line. Yeah. How are you doing? Gordon, are you there? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm listening to you. All right. Kindly turn down the volume of your TV so that we can to you, communicate. Please. Gordon. Yes. I cannot hear you. All right. So kindly speak up and then turn down the volume of your TV completely so that, you know, we do not have feedback so that we can also get your question clearly. So what question do you have for Mr. Joseph? Okay. Um, I hope you are listening to me. Yes, we can hear you now. Okay. Uh, I was asking the gentleman. He's talking of uh, you just coming with a uh, performer invoice from General Motors and you will be given a car 100% finance. Mm hmm uh, does it mean that there's no bank statement from another bank? Mm -hmm. And uh, 
what else are they required? Because as, as much as, as far as I know, I know you are supposed to come with a bank statement from another bank. Mm -hmm. Is when they do you the process of approval, but they may be saying that you just walk in, mm -hmm. uh, with the performer invoice, mm -hmm. you'd be given like a hundred percent finance, insurance, uh, tracking, mm -hmm. and what have you. I don't know whether it's serious. Uh, no, I think you you missed out on the same, but I'm happy that you called so that you get a clarification. <laughs> we didn't just say you walk in and then you get you get a car, but um, there's a lot of things, and I think uh, Mr. Joseph Lee said a few things that is needed, but I think just for clarity purposes and to help Gordon and maybe so many others, um, what is the process? Okay. Okay. So, so I think I mentioned about the yeah. two categories of the customers. That you need. So we yes. have customers who are banking with us. Mm -hmm. So they already have an account. It means that uh, they are banking, mm -hmm. you know, all their business proceed or their salary is right. passing through the core bank. Mm -hmm. Those are the ones that we don't need the, the bank, bank statement. Because yeah. we already have the record. We, mm -hmm. can, we can see how they are banking. Mm -hmm. But if they are not banking with us, they are still eligible for this uh, product. Right. And now for us to be able to appraise, mm -hmm. we need the bank statements uh, from where they bank. Mm -hmm. So if they have the regular income, um, so we need six months bank statements. Mm -hmm. And in, uh, in case they are in business which are seasonal, so we need the 12 months uh, bank statement. Right. So, so maybe that, that is a clarification on mm. that in terms of all the other requirements are the same. All right. It's only that for, for bank statements, mm. uh, you know, they're required. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, we have customers who are multi-banked. Mm -hmm. You find they have an account in oh, one yeah. bank and another bank, mm -hmm. and maybe COP is not the main account, right. it's elsewhere. Mm -hmm. Again, we'll still require the, um, the bank statement so that we can see uh, the, the complete picture mm -hmm. yeah okay mm -hmm. all right and then again of course another question that so many people would ask is um so fine so i am salaried right and like you said of course the the you look at the total deductions but but not exceed what two-thirds um you know of, of of your salary um but then again so aside from the same the monthly um you know deductions that are made what are some of the things that that you look into if I can come maybe to cooperative bank and say, you know what, um, I want you to be deducting maybe like 30,000 or 20,000, or is it me to decide how much I want to, to the deductions to, to, you know, take place, or is it the bank that decides? So we look at your salary, we look at, you know, your, we look at your salary and then we, and we look at the value of the car and then we decide how much can be deducted uh, every single month. Um, the, the, the deductions are based on the installments. All right. So, for example, um, let's say you borrow uh, a 1.5 million mm -hmm. shillings mm -hmm. and uh, you are going to pay for 60 months. All right. uh, so, that we just calculate based on the how much we are financing, All right. how, what is the tenor of the repayment mm -hmm. period. Mm -hmm. And, um, for example, if you borrow 1.5 million shillings, mm -hmm you pay 34,000 shillings. Mm -hmm. It means that we are going to be deducting 34. Mm -hmm. so, so the deduction is um, derived from the amount that we are financing. That you're financing, okay. Which and in this case, like you said, is 100%. It's 100% financing. For the, for the second, and just to make it clear. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> for, people, for the pre-owned. For the pre-owned cars. Yes. Okay. Is, a, is, a, is the amount we are financing mm -hmm. and also the tenor. Okay. So the maximum we are saying is 60 months. Mm -hmm. And uh, even for corporate schemes, mm -hmm. because we have arrangements where we have uh, you know, corporate, um, corporate car loan schemes. Mm -hmm. Those ones, even the repayment is been extended to 96 months. All right. So, so, so the deduction mm -hmm. is derived from the amount we are financing mm -hmm. and the tenor of that loan. Right. And of course, the interest rate that we are charging. Okay. Yeah. So All that's right. how you arrive at how much will you mm -hmm. deduct okay. from your f from your pay slip. Okay. And remember that deduction is what informs mm -hmm. whether you qualify or or, or not. not. Because okay. sometimes you can uh, compute and see if we do, if we impose that uh, deduction on your pay slip, mm -hmm. you will not be able to to pay. Maybe yeah. you'll be left with less than a, yeah. a third of, 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 of your salary. Of your salary. Yeah. And by law, you cannot exceed. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I think that deduction is informed by the amount and the, the tenure. And the, and, the, and the tenure. Yes. All right. And yeah. the, what about like for business um, persons, right? Who are not, they're not salaried, but of course they have like their own business. What is, what is the requirement for them? Okay. In terms of the requirements mm -hmm. um, for business people, mm -hmm. so of course we need the application form, mm -hmm. uh, you know, asset finance application form. You need, you know, can get it from our website or you can 
walk to our branches and you're right. able to download. Mm -hmm. um, then you need uh, also bank statements. Mm -hmm. If they're not banking with us or if your, your main account is not with CoBank, with CoBank yeah. you need uh, identification documents. Mm -hmm. That's, uh, you know, KRA uh, PIN. Mm -hmm. You need now business registration certificate. Mm -hmm. If you are an MSME mm -hmm. with a trading business name, mm -hmm. if it's a company, then you need, uh, you need a certificate of incorporation. Mm -hmm. And then uh, um, it, it, the, the other requirement for assets are the same. Because mm -hmm. whether you are a company or individual, mm -hmm. you are buying the same, mm -hmm. same assets. So yeah. the logbook, um, if it's a used vehicle, mm -hmm. if it's a new vehicle, mm -hmm. it's a performa invoice mm -hmm. uh, for, from the dealer. Mm -hmm. so, so I think the difference is on the identification documents. All right. Because each is unique. Oh, yeah. But all these other requirements mm -hmm are the same okay yes all right and then we talked about 60 um, months which is a good thing i mean most yeah. of the time we usually yeah, get yeah. like around 48 uh, months that is of repayment so cooperative bank is extending that as well up until 60 months but of course the biggest question that i know so many people are asking is the interest rate okay yeah what are we looking at um we're looking at 13 percent okay reducing balance reducing balance, reducing okay. balance yes right. uh, mm -hmm. because um uh, you know, there are those, there are other financial institutions that will charge flat rate, mm -hmm. which is much higher. Mm -hmm. So we are looking at 13% uh, uh, reducing balance. All right. What it means that we charge interest on the balance uh, of the loan. Mm -hmm. So for example, if you are paying 30,000 right. and you decide that you want to increase mm -hmm. uh, repayment, maybe to 60 or mm -hmm. maybe you get a bonus or you get yeah. a windfall and you want to increase the repayment, yeah. it means that your interest again reduces because it's, yeah. it's on a reducing balance. Mm -hmm. So it's currently is 13%. Yeah. And we are very competitive. Mm -hmm. And you ask a question around uh, about the SACO, mm -hmm. uh, SACO financing. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, when it comes to SACO, mm -hmm. they will lend based on your, uh, your savings, mm -hmm. uh, maybe three times. Yeah. And then you have to now to get that loan and go and buy the car. So you have the collateral, and then you still have to use your, your mm -hmm. saving to borrow. Mm -hmm. If you look at the microfinances, uh, they're very expensive. Mm -hmm. Interest rate even, some of them are charging uh, an interest of uh, 2 to 5% per month. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, that's, that's more than 60%. Yeah. yeah, so we are saying you don't have to, you know, we, we are offering a, a very competitive interest rate. Mm -hmm. And as long as you have um, regular income, mm -hmm. you don't have to go to microfinance and pay 5% mm -hmm. per month. Mm -hmm. You can walk to CoBank and... Okay. Uh, will be able to finance you. All right. Yes. Okay. Um, Thirteen percent on a reducing on a reducing balance. Okay. Um, and then there's also the question of okay, not default, uh, but sometimes things happen, right? <laughs> and you're mm -hmm. not able to fulfill uh, your monthly installments. So in such a case, then what happens? Because again, like you said, a hundred percent financing on again the pre-owned. Um, you're given up until six months to repay your loan. So that means it's it's, it's a bit. Com you're comfortable it doesn't mean that you one side of your life suffers because you're repaying um, you know your car loan but then again things just happen and sometimes you're not able to um, you know consecutively pay your monthly installment so in that case what what happens yes um, I, I think uh, default is an event yeah. that can happen yeah. we saw it during uh, COVID-19 COVID uh, COVID and uh, yeah. you know it was uh, unexpected it came mm -hmm. And there were very several options that banks were able to navigate, oh, okay. including, uh, you know, suspending mm -hmm. the repayments All right. uh, just to give the, the customer a breather. Mm -hmm. we, we had option of restructuring. Maybe if you are paying mm -hmm. uh, 30000 mm -hmm. we now restructure your loan to, mm -hmm. uh, to the minimum income that you are able to, yeah, uh, to you pay. Yeah, that you can afford to pay. Okay. Uh, right. You know, as you probably get another job or as your business peaks. Mm -hmm. so, so there are those op options of giving you what you call more which is a holiday, okay. in the banking terms we call it moratorium, All right. uh, just to give you room uh, to, 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 to get on your feet. Mm -hmm. and, um, but in the event that you know, there is a complete mm -hmm. you know, loss of income, yeah. there are no hopes of uh, you know, um, recovering, mm -hmm. uh, you have an option. We give you an option mm -hmm. where you can maybe look for a buyer through private treaties, mm -hmm. and you can sell that vehicle. Okay. Or, you know, you can also, you know, through auction. Mm -hmm. You know, there are those customers, again, who do not, uh, may not cooperate. Yeah. Maybe they have just abandoned their, their asset. Yeah. So we have no option. Yeah. Again, mm -hmm. you know. 
apart from selling through the auction. Yeah. yeah. But other than that, I, I mean, there's that moratorium, which is a good there's thing, holiday, you know, yeah. and all those things. Yeah, yeah, um, you yeah. know, that, that one is comfortable, um, yeah, yeah. you know, yeah. one is able to, to acquire the same. All right. So we need to literally bring the conversation to an end. We have, I would say, like around two more minutes um, to go. Um, but just in case someone missed out on the first part where we're talking about, so what are some of the requirements, What who qualifies to, to get this... Um, um, second-hand car financing and what it is that people just need to know. What sets Cof Bank aside from everybody else who's issuing second-hand, uh, second-hands, you know, car financing? What is it that sets Cof Bank away, and why should we come to Cof Bank and not go to any other financier? Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, so I think we talked about uh, some of those benefits. Yeah. Um, it's 100% financing. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think that is key. Mm -hmm. So most banks are financing uh, seventy percent. Seventy percent there. Yeah. Yes. So we have extended the uh, tenor. So a lot of banks are averagely uh, forty-eight months. Mm -hmm. So that one one year extra, mm -hmm. you know, makes um, it reduces your instalments. All right. So there is also pricing, mm -hmm. the interest rates, which we mentioned is uh, thirteen percent, mm -hmm. and also you don't have to be a cop customer. All right. I mean, you could be banking or channeling your salary elsewhere. Mm -hmm. And as long as you are willing to, ch you know, change your uh, salary pay point, mm -hmm. we'll also consider you. And uh, there's no collateral. Mm -hmm. So the, the asset that we are financing mm -hmm. is a security. Mm -hmm. But we have two more other, other, other key, key benefits. All right. the, fa the, the first one is uh, trading options. Mm -hmm. yeah, we, we negotiated with the dealers, and we are looking at even coming up with the, uh, several schemes, mm -hmm. so that if you own a car, you can actually trade in mm -hmm. your car okay. for a new one, Quite for a newer one. Okay. Because it's right. already pre-owned. Pre-owned, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Maybe like an upgrade. Upgrade, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, All for right. example, let's say you have a car mm -hmm. which is valued at um, 500,000 mm -hmm. and the dealer is selling at uh, 2 million shillings. Mm -hmm. So instead of struggling to look for a buyer, mm -hmm. you can actually engage the dealer. They take your old car All right. at valued at 500, mm -hmm. so which means you borrow uh, 1.5 million. Mm -hmm. And it means that your installments mm -hmm. actually reduce instead of reduce, borrowing the yes. two million. Yeah. So we have all those trade op trading options. Okay. So if you have a car that you've been driving for five, ten years, mm -hmm. through this pre-owned, mm -hmm. there is an option where you can actually trade in, trade in your car, your yeah. car yeah. Yeah. for a newer car. Okay. So that's, that is one option. The other option we are doing also at a pre-owned mm -hmm. is direct import financing. All right. So which means if you want uh, to buy now from you know, a vehicle which is still in Japan mm -hmm. at the auction, mm -hmm. we have you know, a financing solution for that. Yeah, right. uh, because again, we've gotten feedback, there are customers that say, if you buy locally, mm -hmm. it's quite expensive. Mm -hmm. So we have made arrangement where you can actually, mm -hmm. we have a financing arrangement right. at no extra cost to the customer, oh, wow. and okay. you can import uh, you know, directly right. from yeah. Japan. And still get the 100%. And still get 100%. Financing. And uh, still save a bit mm -hmm. because now there is no dealer that is taking yeah, the profit. In between, yeah. And uh, you get a quality vehicle because one of the complaints that we have also received is, uh, you know, customer getting vehicles mm -hmm. with adjusted uh, mileage. Mm -hmm. Others are accident, uh, you know, vehicles. So by doing a direct importation, mm -hmm you are able to get a quality car okay. at a better price. Okay. And we are financing all these other mm -hmm. at 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 pre-owned pre uh, yeah, car, financing. car financing. Yes. Isn't that great? That is amazing. Thank you so much, Mr. Joseph, for coming by today. Um, if you have more questions, again, feel free to send them our way because time is not on our side. We need to bring this to a close. But if you have more questions on the uh, pre-owned car financing, and that is through Cooperative Bank, feel free to send them our way. And of course, we'll send them again to Mr. Joseph, who will be able to answer all your questions. The conversation continues on our social media platforms at NTV Kenya at Lubembe underscore Winnie and that is on Twitter and on Facebook at NTV Kenya and on YouTube as well and we'll be able to answer all your questions but now you know so the ball is in your court. My name is Winnie Lubembe. A special thanks to everybody who made and put together the show and ensured that it is a success. We say thank you so much. I'll see you tomorrow morning same time same place but until then remember to stay safe and God bless. Goodbye for now.